Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 5 of the Runic Warriors blog. As I continue to talk about different aspects of the books, and the storyline, and everything else. Today, we're going to be looking at book 1, called Legend Reborn. Now, the original story that I had written 20 years ago was actually called The Coming of a Legend. However because of backstory and everything else, it became a legend reborn. What's the first one about? The first one sets up most of our main characters. Harry Hansen from Cincinnati, Ohio. Rick O'Shea from Boston, Massachusetts. Mary Watterson from Des Moines, Iowa. Maylee Richardson from Wounded Knee, South Dakota. Loretta Borbeck. And Loretta Borbeck from Jackson, Mississippi. We follow each one as they go through the ancient test of runic sight and skill, are recruited to be the runic warriors, and told that they'll meet the others later. They get ready for college and are not even sure that what happened before even was real. Then they all get to college, they manage to by some coincidence, find each other. And lo and behold, they're set before a council of gods and officially given the powers of the runic warriors. So this book goes through that whole process and goes through their first fight as just five of them. It also explains why the enemy is so intent on destroying the Council of Gods and the Runic Warriors. So, can these five balance out college life and being this group of defenders that mostly have to defend their own asses, you never can tell. And the only way to find out is to read the book. Now, like I said, the book was a, the story was originally called The Coming of a Legend. But then, through all the different um, iterations and this, that, and the other, when I started to redo them, it became A Legend Reborn. It was originally released in um, February of 2016. And it looked like this. <laughs> yes, this was the original cover. But... This release, it turns out, was done so wrong <laughs> that I had to go back, re-edit, resize the pages, and tweak a couple of things. But then when I went to try and deal with the cover, I accidentally erased it. And so I had to redesign it because the original um, template wasn't there anymore. So... In May of this year, book one became this. Which is actually closer to my original vision for what the book was supposed to look like. So, yes, the only way to find out more than what I'm telling you now is to pick up the book. It's on Amazon. The new version is $11.50 for the paperback that I just showed you there. Or you can get a Kindle version for $7.50 if you'd rather do that. That one, along with three other volumes that I'll be talking about in the coming weeks, are available. On Amazon, you'd have to pick up the books to find out more than what I'm telling you today. But that's what I'll tell you for right now. If you have any other suggestions of any aspects of these books that you'd like to know more about, let me know. Comment here. Comment on Facebook. Um, anything at all. Just let me know what you want to know about. Same. Okay. Bye.